What's up guys, thanks so much for stopping by the channel today. My name's Timothy and I'm coming at you with a little tech review for those of you rocking the USB-C dongle life right now, guys. I know the struggle is real. So I'm gonna cover some uh, dongles that I have found to be really useful and some ones that I haven't. So if you're excited about today's episode, smash that like button, consider subscribing to the channel and let's get into the video. I did in fact pick up the brand new 2016 15-inch inch MacBook Pro with touch bar in the beautiful space gray. I am absolutely loving this thing. It has become my workhorse. I do all of my editing on this machine, uh, all of my 4K editing in Final Cut Pro X. Um, it's just a fantastic tool. I even have Windows on it through Boot Camp, and I've been doing some gaming on it as well, rocking Battlefield 1 a little bit, um, and it's worked really, really well. And so this machine has proved itself to be a workhorse for me um, and if you guys are rocking this as well or any of the MacBook Pros with these beautiful USB-C ports then you understand the struggle that we are in right now. Now I do think that USB-C is the future of connections. I think that it's it's incredibly fast. It has all kinds of throughput, so it's a great option. I think right now, uh, Apple has pushed all of these third parties to start making uh, hard drives and accessories and flash drives, all these things in USB-C, um, but we're just not quite there yet. And if you wanna use any of your current devices, all of those legacy USB 3.0 and 3.1 ports, then uh, you're gonna need some adapters. Now, if you'll remember back a few months ago on the channel before, before I even had picked up my new MacBook Pro, I covered a doc from OWC, Otherworld Computing and Mac Sales that I thought would be a great solution. It's still not out yet, and so for those of us that do have this, we can't just wait around to be able to use all of our devices. It's also really expensive, and I know that it ended up not being a practical purchase for me, even though it was an all-in-one solution. So what I turned to is Amazon.com and all of their mini solutions for USB-C adapters. So I've got a few of those right here, three to be precise, and I'm going to be going over each one of them and why I think one of them stands out more than the rest. So there's really uh, four qualifications for me for my USB-C dongle that I really needed. One, SD card slot because cameras like the Lumix G85 from Panasonic that I'm shooting on right now, those have SD card slots. A plus would be a micro SD card slot for the storage that my drones use, but I also have regular adapters for those, so that wasn't a make it or break it. The second was an HDMI port that would support my monitor, which is the Predator 34 inch. Um, that is a 3440 by 1440 uh, monitor that really needs you know 60 hertz or so pushed to it in refresh rate so that was really important thirdly was obviously usb legacy ports such as usb 3.0 ports that would be really important and fourth was a pass through usb c so that i could power and recharge my macbook pro through attaching the charging cable to the dongle and the dongle to the computer that way i was only utilizing one usb c port on my macbook so initially when I looked at USB-C dongles, there were so many that were out of stock and they had the one solid ones that just plugged into the side that would cover up your other ports and nothing really covered everything that I needed. So I went with two. The first one that I bought was this one from Hutu. Um, this is the one that features a SD card slot. It has one of those and three USB 3.0 slots. And so that's really helpful. If you don't need HDMI out or any other adapters and you're just looking for a cheap alternative um, that really performs quite well, then this is going to be great. It doesn't have the micro SD card slot. Seems like there's a lot of empty space on the backside and the end of this that they could have utilized, but um, they are just covering the basics here. So you get three of those and you get your SD card slot, but you don't get the USB-C pass-through, so you can't actually charge at the same time. Of course, you can still charge by using your cable, but that's going to take up two of your USB-C ports. That is the Hutu Shuttle, um, a great adapter if you're just looking for USB ports and an SD card slot. 
The next one I picked up was from Minix. Uh, I think I'm saying that right. Um, but this one as well from Amazon, links in the description below. Uh, this has been a really great one. Uh, I think it combined most everything except for the SD card slot. Again, I couldn't find an all-in-one solution that was in stock. This one has two USB 3.0 ports on it. And so you get that connectivity um, it has the USB-C pass-through, so you can actually power and recharge your laptop by connecting your charging cable here, and then this to your MacBook Pro. Uh, and it also has an HDMI out, and that allowed me to power my monitor just fine by hooking up my HDMI cable right there. So basically, what I ended up doing was having this uh, just at my desk all the time connected to the HDMI cable and when I needed to have an SD card read I would just plug in the other one and use that for a few minutes. So this kind of lived on my desk for about a month and it worked really really well. Um, it did have a few times where the HDMI port would not be recognized. I think that might actually be more of an issue with the OS and with this new MacBook Pro because it's also happening on other docks and dongles that I've used. But it's only happened a few times and I don't think that it is a disqualification for this. So if you're looking for USB, uh, HDMI, and power source that you can just leave on your desk and plug this one cable in, then I think this might be a good option for you. So I do a lot of my editing on this Samsung T1 drive. It's a solid state drive from Samsung that is USB 3.0 powered. Um, it's a small, fast little drive and I really, really love it. The problem is it is USB 3.0. So I found these little guys from Aki. Um, all it is is a USB uh, 3.0 on one side and a USB-C on the other. So all I have to do is plug that in and it can just live on this cable for me. And I now have a USB-C compatible drive. Now this doesn't actually speed up the connection. So I'm not getting USB-C pass through, you know, read write speeds, but I am uh, able to use my SSD now with my new MacBook Pro. These are super cheap. I'll leave a link in the description below. They come in packs of two. So I have another one that just kind of lives in my bag and I'm probably gonna order a few more because they're just fantastic to be able to leave on your current devices. So you could just stick these on your external hard drives and suddenly they're all compatible with your USB-C slots. And lastly, the all-in-one solution that I found is actually from Juiced Systems. Now, I, for the longest time, wanted to pick one of these up, and I wanted their space gray color because that's the color of the MacBook Pro that I have, but they've been sold out of those for such a long time, and I got tired of waiting and having to deal with two dongles at once, so I went ahead and got the black version. I do really like this. This is now my go-to USB-C dongle. I'm actually going to return these to Amazon because I'm not using them anymore at all. I haven't used them once since I picked this up. Now it is uh, more expensive than the others, um, equal to probably the same price as having both of those, but um, it has everything that I need in one package. It's great. This is the black and white version. Like I said, Space Gray was sold out, but let's just run through what all it has on this side. HDMI, uh, this does support 4K and it runs my monitor at 60 Hertz, which is great. Three USB 3.0 slots. Uh, an ethernet adapter, which is really cool if you need to hardwire in your internet or if you need to set up a router or something like that. That's really fantastic to have. I haven't even had this on my previous MacBook Pro. Um, and so pretty excited about having that feature. You have your pass through USB-C um, that's able to power your and recharge your MacBook. And on the other side, you have a SD card slot and a micro SD card slot, both of which uh, can read and write at the same time. And you can really plug in as many devices as you want and you can access them all. Unlike some other ones, um, you can still access both sides of the drives at once. For example, you can have a hard drive plugged into a USB 3.0 and an SD card slot plugged in here and it all works. My main use for this is an all-in-one device, but when I have it on my desk, I've got an HDMI port. I've got a USB cable plugged into this port that actually goes to the back of my monitor that has a hub for three different hard drives and they all go through one USB port here and I can and plug in an SD card or a micro SD, it reads them all at once, plug in the charging cable, keeping it charged, 
one cable attached to the MacBook, one thing that I have to attach when I put my MacBook Pro to my desk. And so this thing is fantastic. I do wish that I could have picked up a space gray. The black is nice, but um, on a aesthetic note, it does show a lot of fingerprints. And so if you're OCD about that, um, well, there's fingerprints. It's also available in silver to match that MacBook Pro and of course the space gray if you can find it. Um, I'm still looking for one, but uh, I'm so pleased with this. This is my new recommendation for USB-C dongles. As far as read and write speeds, I actually found it to be slightly faster than the other models that I had. Um, and it just gives all its connectivity into one. One thing that it is doing, again, like the other one, is sometimes the HDMI cable has to be unplugged and plugged back in in order for the OS to recognize your external display. Um, but that's not really that big of a deal. And I, like I said, I think that's actually a MacBook Pro thing right now and not necessarily the fault of these dongles. So a long video today, guys, and I hope it's been helpful to you. If you are looking for USB-C accessories, I think these are great options for you. I'm going to leave links in the description below so you can pick them up from amazon.com and leave me a comment below. Tell me what kind of USB-C accessories that you've been rocking. Um, are there dongles that you found that are really awesome and what kind of things you're looking for to utilize those extremely fast USB-C ports on your MacBook Pro or another computer that has USB-C. So thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.